go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Val and I am a project designer for Michaels. And I just had something jump up on my screen. It needs to go away. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, today we are going to be making this cute little shaker card. Now y'all can see there's glitters and fun things in the in the little shaker dome. So um, one of the new things that we'll be carrying are these little plastic shaker domes. They have it. They have a sticky adhesive on the front and a sticky on the back, and that's how that'll work. And they all come with this nice plastic template so you can draw your circle. So uh, I will show you all how to do that. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm starting with just a plain card. Um, I think you can kind of see. Yeah, there we go. I'm just I'm starting with a, a plain card, and we're going to take our scrapbook paper and cut it down to fit the front of our card. So if you have an A7 card, an A7 card is a five by seven card. I have an A6 card here, which is five by six and a half. So I just subtract a half an inch from each measurement to cut this down. Then I'll have a nice quarter inch border around it. So I will go ahead and cut one with you all. I don't know if y'all are making along with me or watching, but I'll go ahead and, and cut one. I've got my trimmer here, which is a crucial tool for me. Um, let's see, what did I say? Four and a half by six. We'll make, I've got to stick on it. I'm gonna use this side. We'll work on the A6 card. Four and a half by six and a half for the A7 card. So this is my, this is my uh, card front. So I'm going to take my template, my plastic template, I'm going to turn this over and um, I'm going to find the center of this card. Hey Val. Yes. We have, a, we have a question about the paper you're going to be using. Is that Michael's okay. paper? It is Michael's paper. It is, um, what's the name of it? I don't know what the name of it is. Uh, it just says foil paper, but it's, it's one of our, it's got, um, gold foil on it. You can see kind of the little sparkles on it. There's a, a little gold foil. It's really pretty. I think it's one of the um, more specialty papers, but you can use any any um, pattern paper that you'd like that you have handy that you'd like to have on your card front. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Then I want to show you all the glitters and new glitters that we have. I mean, I'm not going to show you all of them because there's a lot of them. But I have some here that I want to show you that are really fun and, and make really good add-ins for your, your um, shaker dome. So you're just going to find where you want on your card. I measured the center. I had measured earlier. I found the center of my circle. So I had a little pencil mark there. So I'm just going to line it up. And, and I want it in the top third of the card somewhere. I'm going to have a, a little strip up on top. You can see here, I have a little strip up here and, and an area down here for my greeting. So I'm going to keep it up in the top third. I'm just going to draw a pencil circle there. So now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. And I, to me, I think the X-Acto knife is going to be the easiest way to do this. If you have a scissors, it's going to be hard to get in there. You're going to have to sort of at least get a, an X cut in there and get in there with some detail scissors. So I recommend an X-Acto knife and a cutting surface. I have this um, We Are Memory Keepers glass work surface and I absolutely love it because I can paint on it and I can scrape the paint right off. I can glue on it. I can scrape the glue off. I mean, and I can cut on it. Now, granted, I know when you cut on glass, it sort of dulls your blade a little more. So but if you have a self-healing mat, that will work too. But I'm just going to go ahead around the circle. And cut my circle out. And you want to be careful with an X-Acto knife. If you haven't used one very much, it does take a little getting used to. I used to do paste up in the old days, and so I'm pretty good with an X-Acto knife, but I know a lot of people, you just, you hold it like a pencil, and then just go slow. And you can turn your paper as you go and cut your circle. Okay, so there. Here's my circle. 
So now I'm going to show you some glitters. We'll do the dome next, but I want to show you the glitters before we go too far. So I'm going to pour some out. So get ready. These are fun. We have baseballs. You see that? Little baseballs. We have basketballs. So you can make a your, your sports fan a card. Yes, we have soccer balls. Aren't those fun? They're about, how big are they? They're about a, almost a quarter of an inch, three sixteenths maybe of an inch. You could use them as, you could use them as confetti too, if you wanted to. Um, oh yes, and we have footballs. Here's our footballs. Now we have butterflies. These are foil and pastel. They're really pretty. I might have to put some of those in my cards today. We have, these are kind of fun. This is, these are just letters. You can see that they're foil, silver foil alphabets. Alpha, alpha letters. Let's see what else do we have. We have flowers. Those are really pretty. I'm gonna put some of those in my card too. We have these breast cancer ribbons. These are little. See those? Kind of shiny. Let's see. Oh, and then and then we have some of these mixed glitters, which is really pretty. So there's regular glitter, and then there's like mylar circles and some shreds, some foil shred. So these make really pretty um, add-ins in the cards. There's different colors of those. There's these gems. They're, they're dimensional. Let's see, I'll show you a few more stars. These might look better in my hand because they're white. These little stars, those are fun. This one's, this is fun. This has stars and little white balls and some little gem things. So these are, there's just so many fun new things that are coming out in the reset. The, the, new, um, the new product is setting now if it hasn't already set. Um, and that includes the, the shaker dome. So they come in round and they come in rectangle, I don't have one laying around, but the rectangle ones are about that big around. So yeah, so there's lots of fun things you can put in there. Um, so let's go ahead and put the shaker dome in. We'll go ahead and take our dome and we're going to peel the, so th I'm using it so that the, the top that is thicker is up. So we're gonna be putting it into our card like that. So I'm gonna take the top layer of protective paper off. And I'm going to stick it to my scrap of paper. So now it's stuck on there good. And kind of press all the way around it to make sure it's adhered so your glitter doesn't come flying out. So now we're going to go ahead and fill it. Um, before we fill it, you need to determine what you want behind your shaker dome. So I picked a, um, a different scrap, uh, con contrasting scrapbook paper. I liked this one. I thought this was fun. These are both Michael's scrapbook papers. I love these little, they're like sprinkles. I thought that might be kind of fun. So I might use that one back there on that card. This card I used a orange and white dot. So it's just something that matches, complements the paper in the, in the front. So you want to have that handy and you want to cut it down to the same size as this top piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my glitter in. I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to use, I'm going to use some butterflies. So I'll go ahead and pour those in. Then I'm going to peel off this sticky layer.
And I'm going to press this paper face down so that the pretty side shows. And press, you can feel where your dome is. You can press all the way around your dome. Now, if you got it on there a little crooked, like I did, you can just trim that off. Kind of shake it around so you can kind of see all your, can't really get to see my butterflies too much. So there's my fun stuff to put in there. Now I'm going to adhere that to my card front, my white card. going to center it. Yeah. Paper sticking up anywhere. And tack it down. Yeah, I should have put it heat more adhesive than or on the on the back of the paper. Think about that. Okay. So now we're ready to stamp and embellish the card. So on this card, I uh, stamped wishing you everything happy on some white card stock and then I trimmed it out and I put some gold washi tape behind it. So I have it already stamped out, but this is the stamp, wishing you everything happy. And I like to use the archival ink. It's um, permanent ink. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and stamp one with you guys. Now, I like stamping in a, um, as you can see, I stamped in the middle of a piece of cardstock. And I do that because if I, if I cut this down, I'm gonna have a heck of a time lining it up. I, I've just never been very good at that. So I would rather, have it big and then cut around it. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to line up. So this paper trimmer has a wire in it. This is the Fiskars one, which you can kind of see through it. And so I'm going to make sure, cause I know I didn't get straight on my cardstock, but I'm going to eyeball it. And now I have one side that I know is straight, that I feel is, is straight. So I'm going to, let's see. I need to measure. So this is going to be four and a half inches. So the center of my wishing you is, this is my ruler's kind of fading. It's about two, about two and a quarter. So one and an eighth, so that's about the center. And I said four and a half. I bet you didn't realize you were going to be getting into so much math when you started card making, did you? All right. Now that I know that's straight, I'll put that up against my top of my paper trimmer. And my other sides should be square. Now I have my reading for my card that will go down here. I think I'm a little bit long, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit off. Perfect. All right. So I have some gold foil washi tape that I am going to find the end on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a strip across the top. scissors and cut the end off. So I have a straight end. This one, this foil washi tape has, uh, you know what, I'm going to cut another piece. It has um, paper backing on it. So you have to cut 
cut your piece and then peel the backing off as opposed to just being sticky, which I do like just the sticky kind, it's easier, but um, I think the foil has to be this way. So I'm gonna peel that off. I'm going to stick one end down here. If you wanna measure, you can certainly do that. I like to eyeball, I have a pretty good eyeball. So after a while, if you've been doing it long enough, you can eyeball pretty good. Then for our piece on the bottom, I'm going to cut another piece of washi. Cut my end straight. I just want this piece on the, the washi on the bottom to sort of border the top and the bottom of my greeting. So I'm just going to lay it down. Trim it. Wash. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna mark, if I want about that distance showing on the bottom, I'm gonna mark about where I want the bottom of my washi tape to be so that it can be a border behind it. Now you can always, if you didn't have gold washi tape or you can always use some gold foil paper. We have some really nice gold foil cardstock or you can just use another um, complementary color cardstock behind your greeting, just to sort of help pop it. So I'm gonna line up the bottom with my little mark. Trim. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my tape runner Add some adhesive. All right, and now I just have some gems. These are just, uh, they're kind of got a little bit of a gold tint to them. I'm kind of picking up on the gold foil that's in the, the um, card, the scrapbook paper cardstock. And I'm going to put, one on either side of my greeting. Yeah, I like to put some at the top. I'm going to use my exacto knife. I like to use this to add them on. Helps get your big fat fingers out of the way. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanted to, you could even, you know, like if you're a Cricut person, you could cut out a, um, on, a out of the sticky vinyl, a greeting and put it like over your dome, maybe put a little something around your dome. You could even put um, some of the gems on the dome, on the outside of the dome. That's kind of a fun thing to do. So that's uh that's pretty much it. Does anybody have any questions? I don't no see questions. any questions. We've had um okay. I think we had some uh, people really excited about the new product. Yeah, good. It, it's it's going to be it's really impressive when you guys when it gets all set and you get to your stores and you see all the new product that's in in store for card, especially for card making. There's a ton of new product for card making. The other day we did some interactive cards. We did an iris card and some light up cards. In fact, if you guys give me one second, I'm gonna dash and get some samples of cards. I wanna show you what some of the new product is. Sorry about that. I put them away, I'm not even thinking, but I wanna show you because if you're excited about the product, you might enjoy seeing what else we've got. So this is an iris card. These are in the interactive card. So this is a die set and you can make this little card that opens and closes like that. So that's called an iris card. Um, we have little springs. 
There's little craft springs so you can make little cards that move. We have lights. So I don't think you can't really see it on, on the video, but um, it's got little uh, little tiny lights that I've made little holes in the in the sky. And they when you press the the button wherever you put it and it contacts with the um, battery, it lights up. We have slider cards. These are fun. So this is a this is also a set. This is a die set. So and you can have your little unicorn jumping through the clouds and the rainbow. So there's there's several of those. Um, so I wanted to show you those. Those are fun. So check out the new the new set. And if you guys make your cards, please put them up on our Facebook page and hashtag it make it with Michaels or hashtag Michaels classes. We'd love to see what you're doing. Um, would love to know what you like and what you don't like and what the new new things are that you've that you've loved to use. So and, um, we have a couple of last minute questions. Um, okay. So we have do you know the diameter of the shaker dome? The, the shaker dome, dome. I, mean, I measured it. It is two and a half inches. And then our other question is, does the card fit in a regular envelope? That's a good question. Um, I thought I had an envelope. I think it will. I think it's just going to be have to be one of those where you want to hand cancel it because you don't want it to go through the machines. Uh, where did my envelopes go? One second, guys. Let me grab one. of them here. Let's go ahead and just show you. But it's been my experience when you have um, dimensional things, you want to have them hand cancel it rather than have it going through their machines. So yeah, it fits nicely in an envelope. It's, you know, you can kind of see that it's got something in there, but it's pretty strong. I wouldn't want it to get crushed, but it's I'm pushing on it. And it's pretty strong, so it's not collapsing. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, Alice says that it's very pretty and looks fairly easy to make. And she says, thank That's you. Good. Um, it is. It is easy to make. I think you guys will enjoy making them. And then we have Get another question. Do you have a, do you, do you have the hot air balloon set to show? Um, I might. I don't know if I've got it or not. Hold on. Um, let me look. I've got a little case full of some of the product here. Oh, I do. <laughs> so this is the hot air balloons. So it's got, so this one, so the way they have on the example you make, you do your slider is up and down. So the balloons can go up and down. I mean, you can make them go across too, but this example made it go up and down. So it, it comes with the dies that you need and the stamps. And then the little, um, these little plastic things are how you connect your little slider. You just, you glue it to the top. You glue the top and the bottom. The top is on the image that's on the top. And then there's this little disc that you cut out, a little paper disc that's on the back of it. And that's what makes it slide back and forth. I have seen where people have put pennies on them to, to weight them down so that they can, they move to that way. But this guy can flip around and, yep, so there's that. And um, what was I gonna say about this? Oh, a little trick of the trade that, you guys may know this if you use a Sizzix or any other die cutting machine, but Sizzix has a magnetic plate that goes through the Sizzix machine. And to me, when you're trying to line up a stamped image with a die, it's a, it's a game changer. It makes it so easy. It's worth the investment if you're going to be doing these. Um, it, it, then you don't have to worry about them sliding around and you can tape them on there too if you have some, you know, removable tape. But I love the magnetic plate when I discovered that. That was pretty cool. 
do I need to buy a, do you need to buy a machine for what? For the die cutting? I can't read the whole question, Stacy. Yes, it says, do you need to buy a machine to make die cuts? Yeah, you do. You need a, um, I have a cuddle bug that I used the other day. I think I put it away. I have an old cuddle bug, but the, um, the, the one machine that's out on the market now is a Sizzix Big Kick, I think is what it is. Um, yeah, you need something, some kind of a die cutting machine. It's not like a Cricut where it's electronic. It, this is just a hand crank um, machine that goes through on the platforms and it die cuts the, the dies that way. Anything else? Yes, we actually have a couple of questions. Okay. Um, do you have to fill the entire dome with the glitter? And what do you do if you don't have the dome? If you don't have the dome, I'm, you know, the thing about the dome is it's it sticks up like a quarter of an inch. So I, I've tried to make like a shaker card with just some acetate or maybe even some um, plastic packaging where you could sort of make it a little sandwich, but the, the dome gives it enough space to move around in there. So the domes, you really kind of need that dimensional piece of it. Um, you could put how much or how little glitter you want in there. In fact, I think I put too much glitter in this one and the static, like this, it, after a, a while, the static may make the glitter fall off the front of this dome. Um, this one, you can see, you can shake this one around a little more and have, has a little more dimension. This one has a little bit smaller glitter pieces in it and the static is making it stick to the, um, to the dome. So once that releases, you'll probably be able to see more. Um, but like if you wanted to use just some of these, these kind of flowers in there, they wouldn't stick to the dome and they'd probably not roll around in there nice and free. Um, you know, graduation cards with maybe some of these stars would be kind of neat. Uh, and I, like I've only showed you just a little tiny bit of what, of what's out there, what's coming. There's gold flakes that you can use. It's just, there's just a lot of really fun things to, to play around with. The dome is sold separately. You get a package of them. Um, I don't know how many are in here because I have a, I have a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's probably 12 in there because I think I've used one or two from here. I think these things are on the website too. Stacy, have you checked to see if there's, if the, if you type in Shaker Dome, I've got a SKU here you could check maybe and put a link to. Yes, I have been, it is linked in the, the uh, chat room and I can link it again. Okay, good. Oh, you said somebody said they saw 11. That's kind of an odd number to be <laughs> in there. And I think I did only pull one out. So 11 makes sense. So and then yeah, and there's, go ahead. We had one more question from Stephanie mm -hmm. who said, is there a way to cushion the card when mailing so it doesn't get damaged? You, yeah, you know, you probably could put um, a little bit of bubble wrap on, on either side of this and then put it in your envelope. Um, but like I said, I, I'm pushing hard on this dome and it is not caving in the edges. It's really strong. I'm really surprised. So, but if you wanted to cut like a little piece of um, bubble wrap and put on either side of this, it would help to cushion it or even you could even wrap it in there too. So yeah, oh the, yeah, the envelope might, it might rip. Um, yeah, so you might wanna wrap it. In, in a little bubble wrap and, and, and I would hand cancel it and it may add, you may have to put like two stamps on it to, to mail it. Not sure. Anything else? Oops, sit down. I think that is it for the questions. Okay. Well, good, thank you all for joining me today. Um, I hope to see some of your creations on our Facebook page or our Instagram and again, hashtag it, make it with Michael's or Michael's classes. All right, thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks everyone, bye.